I completed my military training and was commissioned into the officer's corps, as was mentioned by the master of ceremony, on 1st April 1990, by the late founding president, His Excellency Dr. Kenneth David Kaunda. May his soul rest in eternal peace. After flying training in Mark, I started off initially as a young helicopter pilot who went on to fly most of the helicopters on Zambia Air Force inventory. And later on, through my own passion and with assistance and blessings from the Air Force, I later transitioned to be a fixed wing pilot. I have had the honor to rise through each and every rank, from second lieutenant to lieutenant general. During my 32 years plus of service, as you heard, I flew over eight different helicopters and nine fixed wing aircraft, both within and outside the Zambia Air Force. That's why I'm very glad to see Major General Kaipe Mjenda, retired State Air Force Commander. We used to fly a lot on the caravan in Lua and other streets around Zambia. We are honored to have you, General Mjenda. I was honored to fly also the AB-139 presidential helicopter and the Gulf Stream 650 extended range presidential jet, which I test was the pinnacle of my flying career in the Zambia Air I am honored to have flown six out of our seven Republican presidents, including our founding father, Dr. David Kenneth Kaunda, though this was after. He retired from the presence. The Air Force granted me the opportunity to travel and see the world. I traveled far and wide to train the United States of America, Italy, China, Sweden, South Africa, and the United Kingdom, to name but a few. I was blessed with so many different medals which were outlined and was recently, on 13th of June, bestowed with the Order of Grand Distinguished Service, the ultimate medal of recognition in the defense. It was such a blessing also to have been granted the opportunity to work in so many capacities, including my final appointment as the Zambia Air Force Commander, where I was appointed on 18th of September 2018. This will for me hold a very special place in my heart for a very long time to come. During my tenure as Air Force Commander, I tried to the best of my ability and within the confines of my influence, as well as that of resources, to improve the Zambia Air Force, not only as a war institution, but also with the view that this institution's lifeblood is its personnel, ordinary and everyday human beings with real responsibilities, fathers, mothers, guardians, breadwinners, and caretakers. And so I thought it prudent to also focus on the welfare of our personnel. It is my strong belief that we are able to make meaningful and significant changes in enhancing our combat effectiveness and operational efficiency. The amount of flying hours which we did last year is testimony to this, where for the first time in the history of the Air Force, we flew well over 10,000 hours. I stand proud before you to state that the Zambia Air Force of today is not the Zambia Air Force of old, while admitting that more needs to be done, 
Zambia Air Force, Force is more combat capable to fulfill its mandate as the war institution. The outgoing Deputy Air Force Commander, Major General B.T. Kalinda, my team of various appointees, and I were committed to the prudent use of resources in order to achieve our goals. I constantly reminded them that the public money or funds allocated to ZAF did not belong to us, but to you, the personnel. It is your money. We quickly realized that our personnel were the only vehicle, were the only vehicle to attaining operational efficiency and made them an essential element of our focus. We were devoted to making a difference in this regard, and I believe we did a pretty good job. That would definitely be built on by a new Air Force commander and his team. I have no doubt that posterity will judge us so. We were only able to achieve all this because of our love and respect for the Zambia Air Force as a institution. We knew that the value and progress of the Zambia Air Force and the effect of our contribution to its history is more important than our personal desires. I will repeat that. We knew that the value and progress of the Zambia Air Force and the effect of our contribution to its history is more important than our personal desires. It is my hope that you carry on on this path at whatever level you serve the Zambia Air Force. I want to take a moment to convey my deepest appreciation to the outgoing Deputy Air Force Commander and Chief of Air Staff, Major General Benedict Takondwa Kalinda, retired, the ex Major General Kapotwe Chintu, and so rest in peace. General, you and the heads were fantastic. General, you and the heads were fantastic. Your support and loyalty was amazing. And whatever success we scored cannot go without recognizing your contribution. As you retire with me, I pray God blesses you immensely. I wish also the heads of departments who worked under me, the Air Secretary, AOCs, Commandants, all my staff members at the office, Commission Commanders, Commanding Officers, various unit executives at all levels, and of course, all the Zambia Air Force personnel, God blessings for the wonderful support given to me during my tenure. Commander. I have no apologies for the ballots which are issued. <laughs> that is our daily bread and butter. And I have no doubt that you are going to eat more ballots from the Lieutenant General Party. Have no haste. Because we do that in the best interest of the Zambia Air Force to ensure that the Zambia Air Force is protected. To our elders who are here with me, the last best boy, thank you for coming to be with us. Thank you also for the support and guidance given to me during my tenure as Zambia Air Force Commander. Please, sirs, continue to support Lieutenant General Barry during his tenure as Air Force Commander. We continue to 
value your contribution as we join your grouping. To that end, I'm grateful for all your contributions and being honored to have served with you. Your dedication, commitment, and unity of effort in achieving my vision has left me eternally humbled. The Air Force Commander, I can let out a secret which I knew for a long time. Service personnel, especially the non commissions, also as well. I had a nickname for me. They used to call me King Levitt. <laughs> I was born at recently when I went to the Lafumunga on tour to open the nest, and the one and two the senior skills there decided to name the old cross gun as Camp Levitt. So for you, the Times General Barry, just prepare for some nickname. <laughs> Without the valued effort and support of each and every one of you, none of our goals would have been attained. I remain forever proud of what we accomplished together under my leadership. You know what we accomplished together, some of which were read out this morning by the master's ceremony. But recently when I was on tour, I did address you on various accomplishments done by this command. Ladies and gentlemen, serving in the Zambia Air Force has been a very humbling experience. There is a common saying, a man is serving and past service chiefs. That the day you are retired, your phone goes so quiet, you would think there's no network. <laughs> because no one wants to talk to you. Let me say it here, that my experience has been different. I've been overwhelmed by the many phone calls and messages of goodwill from you, the personnel which I continue to receive even up to today. I'm truly humbled and thankful. God bless you. God bless you. In the same breath, I wish to state that my era as Air Force Commander is gone. Allow me, the Lieutenant General, Barry, Air Force Commander, to lawfully order the personnel for the last time. Your commander is now Lieutenant General Colin Barry, seated here. Standing here. Thank you. Your allegiance and loyalty is to the government of the day, headed by the Republican President and Commander in Chief of the Defense Force, Mr. Hagaide Ichire. Your allegiance and loyalty is to the Lieutenant. General Barry and his command. No divided loyalty. We are professionals. The Lieutenant General Muma era is gone, and through this ceremony ends today. It is now the Lieutenant General Colin Barry era. I expect you, I expect you to support you. I expect you to support him the same way you supported me. He is also now my Air Force Commander. 
and I will fully support him as such. That is my last order to you. I had the opportunity to thoroughly discuss the future of the Zambian Air Force with the new Air Force Commander. We had a five hour handover talk in his office. He is a senior officer that I have known and shared a good personal, family, and professional relationship with for a very long time. You may not know. Including that, including his deputy and his family. To the friends, General Barry, I wish to let you know, personnel, that he is a good man and a devoted Air Force officer who shares my passion for the progress and advancement of the Zambia Air Force. This is how I know that I leave you in good and very capable hands. I was delighted to learn from him that he plans to continue on our trajectory of enhancing combat effectiveness and looking after your warfare. Believe you me, you are in good hands. To the Air Force Commander, Lieutenant General Barry, having known and worked closely with you for so long, I have no doubt that the Zambia Air Force will be able to achieve great and amazing things under your leadership. I remain available for any consultation or support you may require any time. I wish to acknowledge and say thank you, thank you for the many good things you have said about me since you assumed office last week. The smooth and friendly transition between the two of us has set the standards on how it should be done. Absolutely no acrimony at all. And it is my prayer that this cascades throughout the Zambia Air Force. I hold the Zambia Air Force family very close to my heart and hope to continue interacting with it regularly. Thank you, Lieutenant General Barry, for this parade. It is a great mark on your leadership. I'm humbled. In closing, I wish to most sincerely and wholeheartedly express my boundless gratitude to my wife, Catherine, and our children, my mother, Ada Muma, who turned 90 last month, my sisters, and extended family too numerous to name. Thank you, guys for your unwavering support and love. You were the constant force that held me up in tough times and grounded me in good times. I love and appreciate you the most. To Mrs. Boma, who is the outgoing Air Power Ladies Club patron, say thank you also for your job well done. In the presence of ex-patrons or former patrons from the Sister Service Women's Club is a testimony of your great leadership during your tenure of office. To the incoming patron, Mrs. Charmaine Barry, I have no doubt that you will be as equally successful. I pray for God's blessings as you undertake this new role as the patron of the Air Power Ladies Club. I know that you have your own hand of a ceremony and it is my prayer that all goes well. Let me also thank the parade participants for their good turnout and excellent drill. Let us uphold the standards. I wish you all well. Please keep the Air Force flame burning. I wish to thank most importantly, I wish to thank most importantly, God the Almighty. 
Make up for heaven and earth. For the blessings and wisdom accorded to me through my time as the Zambia Air Force Commander. I testify before four all present father. I testify before all present father that you are an amazing God. Who took me from a poor Livingston boy to the office of the Zambia Air Force Commander. I know, Father, that you will walk with me for the rest of my days. We worship you and glorify you, Jehovah, my God. May you bless and protect the current General Barry and his command, and the Zambia Air Force, the same way you blessed and protected us. Thank you. Thank you, Father. My love for you is eternal. May I end by saying may God bless the Republican President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Force, Mr. Haka in the May he bless our Air Force Commander, the Lieutenant General Colin Barry. May he bless the Zambia Air Force. And may he bless all of you present today. I thank you. Commander, for that farewell speech, we wish you God's blessings and wish you all the best in your new journey. We only hope that you can remain available for further interaction with us, if need be or when need be. We thank you, sir. It is now time for this presentation. May I invite the Air Force Commander to alight from the saluting guys. The Air Force Commander will begin by presenting a gift to the immediate past Deputy Air Force Commander and Chief of Air Staff Major General Benedict Sakonga Kalinda Picard. My request uh, the immediate past deputy air force commander to come forward and uh, receive the gift. Thank <laughs> you. 
your service to the Sunday airport and we also wish you good placing even as you begin your new journey. The airport commander will now present a gift to the former Air Force commander, Lieutenant General Muma. Thank you so much, the Air Force Commander, for that gift presentation. Thank you to the former Air Force Commander sir, for your service. And uh, we could only send you, sir, in this um, appreciative manner. I will now invite the Air Power We will now witness the signing of the commander's handover takeover book, and this will be done between the immediate past Air Force commander and the Air Force commander. May I request that they walk to their time where the this activity will be done. First to find will be the immediate past Air Force commander. Commander, they are signing the handover, takeover book. Uh, 
and uh, he signs just to hand over to the new Air Force Commander. And now the Air Force Commander will sign the hand over takeover book to signify that he has now taken over command of the Air Force. Commanders, 
commanding officers, directors from Air Force headquarters, members of the general staff, senior officers, officers, Air Force warrant officer, command, base, station, units, and naval warrant officers. Warrant officers plus one, warrant officers plus two. Senior non-commissioned officers, junior non-commissioned officers, distinguished invited guests, family members present, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. The immediate past Air Force Commander, Lieutenant General David Mumasa, we are grateful that you graciously accepted our invitation to officiate as guest of honor and reviewing officer for the porting in and porting out parade this morning. Sir, this parade is of great importance and significance not only to Zambia Air Force, but to me personally, as it is a reflection of our collective resolve to uphold military traditions and ideals. I was saying earlier that this, a display such as this is one that shows unity and it is such a display that transcends downward to all the other units and formations out there. Take this as an example of how change of command at all levels should also be administered. This is also a clear demonstration of our commitment, sir, to smoothly transfer leadership responsibilities of the Zambia Air Force without losing momentum or direction. On behalf of the Zambian people, Zambia Air Force personnel and their families, and indeed on my own behalf, I wish to thank you, sir, for this occasion, for you coming to, uh, uh, to be at this occasion, and I wish you to thank you as well for your years of selfless service rendered to the Zambia Air Force and to Mother Zambia. Lieutenant General Mumata, we wish to thank you and recognize your dedication towards improving the operational effectiveness of the Zambia Air Force through the increased conduct of operational activities and increased training. As you say, sir, this Air Force today is not the same as the Air Force of yesteryear. We can attest to that in many ways. We thank you for emphasizing the development of Air Force core capabilities and competencies for enhancing professional and technical proficiency amongst our personnel. I also wish to acknowledge your role in ensuring that resources such as aviation fuels and other essentials were available for monthly continuous training, conversion training, gunnery, rocketry, and bombing, which are GRP exercises, interception simulation exercises, and long range border patrols, among others. Ladies and gentlemen, in just three years, all these efforts made by the Outway Commander and all the programs that were brought in repositioned the Zambia Air Force to a new level of combat effectiveness befitting the war institution it was established to be. Allied to this, I wish to thank the immediate past Air Force Commander for recognizing the fact that a well-motivated workforce is key to operational effectiveness. In simple words, treat everybody well and they will work well. And this is something that you showed us, sir. Very simple, very effective. In this regard, a number of projects and programs to improve the welfare of personnel were initiated that earned you much respect and love amongst us as Air Force personnel. Notable among these are the Build a House Brick by Brick Empowerment Initiative, 
the interest-free uh, free, fraction, interest-free loan revolving fund for a special and ordinary advances, and the liquidation of a huge backlog of personal claims, construction of the center of advanced learning right here at the airport headquarters, the construction of offices for personnel in their various places, and high quality and modern methods among other initiatives and programs. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to state very clearly that I will not reinvent the wheel, but I would ask you to continue to turn and turn even smaller. continuity with these welfare programs that have been introduced that are still some of them in their infancy. We should that we will proceed with them until we see them come to fruition and benefit people, especially those of us in uniform in the Zambia With this, we have no doubt that operational effectiveness will continue to improve. I pledge to continue these programs and initiate other programs where we see necessary to expand our core capabilities and improve personal welfare and the my plans. May I also pay tribute to the immediate past Air Force Commander for spearheading the project to expand and extend the city airport runway, which is the runway you are currently seeing at the here, from 1.8 kilometers to 2.2 kilometers in length, and from 30 meters to 45 meters in width. These little figures may not sound impressive, but they change the entire category of this runway. We are now able to receive aircraft up to the size of Boeing 747 on this runway. That is it, an achievement. We have also upgraded the facility to the load classification of 50, and that also improves on the or increases on the number of aircraft and type of aircraft that we can bring in. I wish to state that we shall complete this project by installing runway lighting to ensure that the city airport is operational even after sunset. Also, to meet the ICAO safety standards and requirements. We will plan to install the instrument landing system and other navigation aids in this uh, facility, this airfield that we have. Allied to this, the Peter Zuse Air Force Base in Mendola, once taken over, will be operationalized to give the Zambia Air Force extra reach into the Copper Belt, which has been the economic mainstay of our nation since independence. The Zambia Air Force, under my command, will continue to provide security and contribute to creating a conducive environment for economic investment. Ladies and gentlemen, as the world continues to evolve into a global village, due to technological advancements, my focus will be towards ensuring we have an Air Force fully responsive not only to the traditional threats, but to the global security threats that our world faces, such as terrorism and cybercrime. We shall also continue in our commitment to contributing towards regional peacekeeping efforts through increased participation in international military affairs. The Republican President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Force, Mr. Hakai Dechirema, has given the nation his focus, and we are committed as an Air Force to supporting this government's effort to repair, restore, and revive the economy. We pledge to cut out unnecessary expenditure through proper accountability and prudent use of resources. We aim to stop leakages natural resources and embark, embark on programs that generate revenue and therefore contribute to the economic recovery of our nation. Furthermore, the 
President has demonstrated his commitment to implementing the One Zambia, One Nation motto and appointing office bearers based on merit, regardless of their tribe, their name, their religious beliefs. Sir, I wish to commend you that, the, that you never operated on tribal lines. Instead, you united the Zambia Air Force, and all that you did was based on progression, or rather the performance of those individuals. I thank you for that, sir. So progression has been performance-based, and we will ensure that this continues and is heightened. I wish to state that I am committed to ensure that delivered policy programs are in place to ensure diversity and gender parity at recruitment, selection, promotion, deployment, and appointment in the Zambia Air Force. I wish to thank the Republican President and Commander in Chief of the Defense Force, Mr. Rakai Tishima, for my appointment as Air Force Commander and for affording me the privilege and honor to serve the Zambian Air Force and the Zambian people. I pledge to ensure that transparent and accountable servant leadership prevails. I say that again. I pledge to ensure that transparent and accountable servant leadership prevails as we continue to address the challenges that face our people. To the officers under my command, I wish to state that I expect solution-based and quality leadership from the officers. I pledge to adopt selfless and exemplary leadership qualities as we work together to serve our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, I also wish to pay tribute to the immediate past Air Power Ladies Club patron, Mrs. Kathleen Mola Muma, for her immense contribution to the club and for the numerous projects embarked upon under the under her leadership. Mrs. Muma led the Air Power Ladies Club and ensured that these projects were embarked upon and completed to improve the welfare their force personnel and their families. Notable among these projects is the construction of the Mother Child Health Center at Zaf Kawai, construction of the Child Training Center for the Athletes, and construction of a special needs classroom block at the Lincoln Secondary School in Zaf Sak. In addition to this, the Air Power Race Club under Mrs. Moa ensure that income generating projects aimed at empowering women in the Air Force family receives support. Projects such as chicken rearing, fish farming, tax shops, and many others raised funds for the club's projects and provided employment to the number of women in the club. For this and many other charity works and donations,
was of encouragement for me as soon as I took over command. And also, the just the testimony you, you gave here of how we have uh, known each other and worked well for a long time. Um, I'm truly really grateful for the city minutes and uh, thank you so much. May the Almighty God bless you all. May the Almighty God continue to bless Zambia. I thank you all. Thank you. And that was the speech from the Air Force Commander. Thank you so much, the Air Force Commander, for that wonderful acceptance speech. And we can only wish you God's blessing as you now take over the mantle and we pledge our support to you, sir. Ceremony completed. The mission prepared to march off. Sir! 
Mission granted. Good day, thank you. Thank you, sir. We may be seated. The parade commander has requested for permission for the parade to march off and call on the route. Right, march off, keep call on the route. Time was not leading. A train for passes distance. Move the right to trees. Parade, cha! The officers just taking post now to prepare to march off in a column of roof as uh, now we symbolize, it symbolizes the end of this ceremony. It has been the porting in, porting out parade mounted in honor of uh, the immediate past Air Force Commander, Lieutenant General David Michael Moma. I uh, would like to once again say hello to you and wish you good uh, blessings in your future endeavors and we take this opportunity to meet the new airport commander The parent commander now marching to take post so as to lead the men and women on parade off the parade square as we end this ceremony. And I just make mention that we have refreshments shortly after the parade marching off.